Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that replace the loading by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment at point O. So we need to replace these two force forces by their equivalent resultant force and couple moment about this point O. So first of all, we have to find the resultant of these two forces, which is quite easy. Both the forces are given as a Cartesian vector in kilonewtons. So we have to find the resultant and the resultant of these two forces will be equal to the vector sum of both the forces. That is F1 plus F2. So we can say that F1 is 8i minus 2k. Or we can say that this is 8i plus 0j minus 2k and then this is f1 plus f2 which is minus 2i plus 5j minus 3k so we need to add up all of these so this resultant is equal to so now this is 8 minus 2 is plus 6i is 0 plus 5 is plus 5j and minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5k so this is the resultant Cartesian vector representation and this is in kilonewtons now if we want to find the resultant magnitude again we can always apply the Pythagoras theorem so the resultant magnitude will be equal to 6 square plus 5 square plus again 5 square and then under the square root this is 6 square plus 5 square plus 5 square this gives me 9.27 so the resultant magnitude is 9.27 kilonewton similarly we have to find the resultant couple moment at point o so we have to find the resultant moment produced by these two forces about this point o so again we can write that the resultant moment about point o vector this will be equal to the moment produced by F1 plus the moment produced by F2. So for that we, we need to apply the uh, cross product. So M1 the moment due to force 1 will be R1 cross F1 plus R2 cross F2 and then we have to define the position vectors this r1 and r2 these are the moment arm for f1 and f2 so then let's say that for f1 let's say that from point o to the line of action of this f1 this is r1 this is r1 cartesian vector or the position vector and similarly from this this will be our r2 so now we can write that we need to write the determinant for R1 cross F. This is I, J, and K. So first of all, we have to find the position vector R1. So the position vector R1 is uh, from O. We need to travel 0.8 meters uh, distance in the positive X. So we can write that R1 position vector is plus 0 0.8 meters in the i this and then we need to travel this distance and this is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.5 so 0 0.7 plus 0 0.5 is uh, 1.2 so 1.2 in the this 1.2 is in the negative z this is the positive z so this means that minus 8i plus 0j and then minus 1.2 k so this is the uh, position vector r1 which uh, which is the moment arm for f1 similarly r2 we will write r2 so r2 is for for, for writing r2 uh, we can we, we can always travel from O in this direction that is in the negative Z so we only need to move 0.5 meters in the negative in the negative Z so this means that the I component is 0 the J component is 0 and the K component is minus 0 
okay so this is r1 and r2 now here we need to write the components of r1 so 0 0.8 i for r1 0 j minus 1.2 k and then for f1 we need to write the components of f1 so f1 is 8 i minus 2 k so 8 i minus 2 k this is 0 similarly plus i j and k and r2 the components of r2 are 0 0 and minus 0 0.5 so 0 0 minus 0 0.5 and the components of f2 are minus 2 plus 5 j minus 3 k so now we have to find this determinant so for the determinant we need to hide this row and this column for i so that will be 0 minus 0 so this is 0 i then for j we need to hide this row this column so this is 0 0.8 into minus 2 minus into minus 1.2 into 8 so that will become let me write that and with j we always write minus sign so this is minus and 0 0.8 into minus 2 then minus minus 1.2 into 8 into j and then for k we need to hide this row this column so this is my 0 minus 0 so this is 0 k this is plus plus 0 k so this is the uh this determinant right similarly then we have to find this determinant so this will be for i again we need to hide this row this column 0 minus this so this is we will write 0 into minus 3 minus into minus 0 0.5 into 5 this is i then for j we need to hide this row this column so this is 0 into minus 3 minus this and with j we always need to write minus for finding the determinant so 0 into minus 3 minus minus 0 0.5 into minus 2 j and then for k we need to hide this and this so 0 minus 0 so this is 0 k So now we, we need to simplify this we need to find this first so let me write that this is 0 0.8 into minus 2 minus minus 1.2 into 8 so this gives me 8.6 let let me write it here this is 8.6 similarly we need to simplify this 0 into minus 3 is 0 minus a let me write this as 0 into minus 3 minus minus 0 0.5 into 5 so this gives us 2.5 this is we can write that this is 2.5 i similarly let's find this this is 0 into minus 3 minus minus 0 0.5 into minus 2 this gives us minus 1 this is minus 1 so now we can write that this is 0 i minus 8.6 j plus 0 k and then we have 2.5 i this is uh, minus into minus 1 so this will become plus so plus 1 j and we have 0 k this is 0 k so now let's add both of these that will be the resultant moment due to these two forces about point o and this will be that resultant couple moment so this is 0 plus 2.5 we need to add up these i these i with i and j with j and k with k so we so 0 plus 2.5 is 2.5 i plus 2.5 i minus 8.6 plus 1 is minus 7.6 j plus 0 k and this will be in kilo newton meters since the forces are given in kilo newton and the distances are in meters so this moment will be in kilo newton meters about point o so in order to replace these two forces by their uh, equivalent resultant force and couple moment so that equal that resultant is plus 6i plus 5j minus 5k at point o 
and the resultant moment at point O is this. This is plus 2.5i minus 7.6j plus 0k. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. If this helps in your learning, do click that subscribe button and support my channel.